Welcome to My Tesla Weekend. We're covering all the Gigafactory construction progress. Giga Shanghai this week has no drone footage. There's an export expo, which prohibits drone footage flying this week, but we do have some footage from our good friend Wuwa on YouTube of the Made in China Model Y. It's in camouflage, it's in testing. Production is expected to begin this month. Giga Berlin. Here at the top, let's see. Last week, we can see there's a lot of panels. In the bottom, we can see there are substantially more. The building is being closed in, dried in, ready for the interior work to commence, the installation of machinery and equipment, the completion of electrical work, HVAC, plumbing, you name it. You can see the center corridor there has been mostly completed. Getting on towards the pit, there were forms last week that are now very elaborate foundations. Foundations are being backfilled with dirt to complete them. The corridor down between the buildings is now nearing completion. A lot of dirt has been moved back to fill in around the foundations. Berlin is expected to begin production of the Model Y in the first half of 2021. The farthest most side of the building has got all of its walls up, all of its columns at least, a lot of its roof work, and more. In the building area between the big cement area and the steel buildings, there are substantially more columns and cement roof uh, beams in place. Uh, this area is closing up very quickly. The large foundations inside to handle very heavy equipment, perhaps stamping or pressing, are in place. Last week they were just rebar and now they are uh, mostly concrete. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, pretty please do it. I've got uh, these videos coming out every week showing the, the progress, so, you know, hey, man, check it out. The Battery and Motor Works Building it's officially just called the Motor Works Building, but it's believed that, that the Roadrunner 4680 cells will be manufactured in this building, or at least assembled into packs here. The walls are going up, the exterior sheathing, and inside, concrete work is mostly complete. From last week to this week, we can see almost all of the loading docks are finished with steel rolling doors and... Uh, and the hydraulic loading areas uh, to adjust the height for trucks that come in. Almost all of the windows are up, and it's, from what we understand, interior work is well underway, and some equipment has been installed. Additional fire escapes have been placed. This part of the building is getting very close to completion. You can see all of the columns are up, Roof work is moving very quickly, it is closing off, and it is moving, frankly, very quick. The number of cranes at this site is just ridiculous. Here's a nice long tracking shot to show you just how close to complete this building is. You can see floors in between the ground and the roof that have been assembled, the second floors. And you can see the roof work is substantially complete. 
and a quick thank you to my 58 subscribers. I don't know who you guys are, but you're pretty awesome. I'm just going to say that. Here we can see massive cement columns going up, and we can see a lot of work has been done at this end of the building. Roof panels. And the roof is connecting now to the main cement portion of the building. Here's the large concrete hallway, which we believe will be used for storage of larger uh, of, of inventory. Storage of body panels and whatnot before they're in use. And you can see on the left, there's a lot of equipment already being installed. And now on the right, you can see even more equipment is ready for installation. Giga Texas. This is where the excitement is this week. Last week you could see there were a lot of footers in place, and this week the holes have been replaced with concrete, and the number of footers has expanded. On the left you can see a new dugout trench. You can see additional gravel brought in for geopier work. The small trench that they had dug is now a substantial trench for what purpose we do not yet know. If you look under the power lines, you see it's mostly been cleared. There's some construction equipment and offices there. There's a small retention pond that's been dug. And as we move further south, we can see the foundation work for the large pit has moved along quickly. There's vastly more concrete than there was last week. The walls are going up and uh, they've actually replaced a substantial amount of dirt to fill out the area, bringing it back up to grade. In the bottom you can see there's an additional crane, not the one from last week, but two this week. And there's a third one further down the property. Oh, I guess there's still two. Well, there's a third one, trust me. Well, I don't see the third one, but I assure you it's there. Or at least it's under construction. Nope, you can see it in the bottom. There it is, one, two, three. In the bottom, you can also see the center area is completely filled in to grade. The driveway area that used to separate the two, what we believe were halves of the building, are now just one. In the bottom, you can see the construction work on Geopiers has moved further north on the site because that whole area is largely complete. It has all of the pier work required to place foundations. They're still bringing in more gravel in parts of the property, but as you can see from the top, it's mostly done from last week. There are vastly more footer holes dug, which they're beginning to place rebar in and complete. Just to the top of the graded area, you can see two retention ponds had been dug, and uh, those are presumably to hold rainwater. Down here, you can see uh, this is where the switchyard's going to be built. The property has been largely graded. It appears basically ready for construction of the switchyard. And as we move a little further south, we can see the temporary switchyard area, which last week was mostly gravel, is now essentially complete, ready for the placement of the switchyard. And the concrete plant at the far north of the property, the temporary batch plant, is in full swing. The pit that they had dug out is now ready for um, 
use for whatever purpose it serves right uh, there and the amount of gravel and sand and material to make concrete has been increased significantly so that's kind of all we have for this week it's a lot of progress my friends it's a lot of progress so here's what i need from you could you do me a favor could you do me a kindness could you subscribe if you like it share it if you think it's valuable that's even better but whatever you do just know i love you guys and i will talk to you you know next week <laughs>